Well hey guys, I've got a new exhaust system for the Spitfire project and I've gone with the Bells exhaust system available from Moss Europe. Now this is a standard exhaust system as opposed to the twin back box or performance exhaust because I want this car to be very much a charming car of the 1960s and theoretically being a stainless steel exhaust system it should last the lifetime of the car. So let's get on with it, let's fit this to the car. Now then, I've been round these bolts around the exhaust manifold to downpipe with a bit of WD-40 and spraying it on over the last few days. So theoretically, that penetration fluid should soak into the nuts and bolts and make life a little bit easier to remove them. Well, that's a theory anyway. Okay, these nuts and bolts do seem pretty tight. It's like they seems like they've been in there forever. So what I'm going to do is two things. I'm going to firstly, I'm going to warm up the engine and hope that the expansion of the engine is going to make life a little bit easier taking apart these nuts and bolts. And then if that doesn't work using ordinary spanners, I've got a set of these Irwin nut bolt removers. They're absolutely brilliant. I totally recommend buying them for anybody because you whack these on, they just eat a new thread into the bolt and just rip it out. So that is last resort. Hopefully we will be able to get these nuts and bolts out. Well that hasn't quite gone to plan. One of the nuts on the downpipe has actually sheared. So what I'm going to have to do is take the inlet manifold off to be able to gain access to the downpipe and then try and maybe grind off the old downpipe bolts and then take the actual exhaust manifold off, drill through the old bolts and then I'll have to have it nut and bolt secured onto the downpipe. It's annoying, it's one of those things, but I've just got to get on with it. Okay, that's the exhaust manifold off. So the next step is going to be to grind these what remains of the studs off nice and smooth with the end of this and then 
put a punch on the top and then just drill them out. Hopefully we should be able to nut and bolt this back in place. Well, I've managed to drill out the um, broken studs in the manifold quite successfully, and I've actually managed to re-tap where the studs would have been. So now I can actually nut and bolt a downpipe to the manifold. So let's get this in. So finally, after what seems like half the morning going away, I can now get on with fitting the exhaust. So the trick to fitting an exhaust system and not getting any leaks or any annoying knocks is to firstly fit the entire exhaust system loosely and then, when happy with the fit, going from front to back, tightening it up a bit at a time and then hopefully it should be absolutely perfect. So let's get this on.
so there we are, the new exhaust fitted to the Triumph Spitfire project. And I've got to say, I'm absolutely over the moon with how well this exhaust fits together. And not only that, one problem I used to have with the Spitfire was the exhaust used to rattle about all over the place and it used to knock against the side and all over the chassis and it was just horrible. But that's now cured because now the exhaust is fitted correctly, it's nice and tight to the vehicle with a little bit of flex so it's one more knock gone. So anyway guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.